it seems as if everybody feels behind in life in one way, shape, or form. I am seeing so many people from all different ages, from all different walks of life, feeling the exact same thing. For example, you have 22-year-olds who just graduated university who are feeling so guilty of not having accomplished enough when they're actually just at the starting line. You have people in their late 20s who are having breakdowns on a daily or a weekly basis because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Me. And you also have 30 year olds who are struggling with imposter syndrome because they still haven't figured it out yet. Well, let me just say something. Nobody is ahead and nobody is behind in life. That is because we are not on the same path with the same destination or the same goal in life. I know this is a very generic saying, but it's true. So I'm going to say it. Life is not a race. It's not a competition and it is certainly not linear. The only person on your path in life is you. That is it. Nobody else is on your specific path. To be honest, when I turned 25, I had a moment of just sheer panic because I didn't know what I was doing and I felt as if everybody did and I was the only person who had no idea what they were doing with their life. I felt so behind. Everybody was like getting married. They were, you know, getting promotions. They were figuring out what to do with their lives. And here I am just sitting and panicking. 25 is the turning point for a lot of us because we've realized that we don't have like the shield of inexperience that we had in our early 20s. And we somehow kind of have to get our shit together. And then we realize that we don't have our shit together because nobody has their shit together at 25. We start to panic. I was working an unfulfilling job that did not pay me enough. I had no social life and I still don't really have a social life. I gave up on dating. My mental health was the worst it had been. And I just, I didn't really have a lot of hope. But on the other hand, my acquaintances, they were like in their dream jobs, they were starting families, and they just seemed a lot more successful than I was. And when I turned 25, I remember age being this huge thing for me because anytime something would pop up, like there's like an article in the news, right? I would immediately go to see how old that person was to compare it to my life. And if they did something amazing and they're like 22, I wouldn't congratulate them. I would just be like, oh my God, they're 22 and I'm 25 and I haven't done shit. I'm a failure. I felt stuck. And to be honest, I still feel kind of stuck. But what I do know is that your inner critic is lying to you. Do not believe them. This is a lot easier said than done and I know, but stop comparing yourself to other people's lives. Nobody has it figured out. And if you think they do, they're just faking it very, very well. You might think a person is doing great in life and they actually could be doing great in life, but you have to take into consideration that they might be going a completely different direction than you. Like for example, they're going north and you wanna go west. So why on earth are you comparing your journey west to someone who is going north? And even though somebody might look super well put together, they have like their life together, you're like, oh my god, I wanna be like them, but you don't know what they're going through in life. For example, you see someone educated with a PhD and you're like, wow, this person is freaking amazing, but you don't see their $200,000 debt. You see someone having kids and starting a family, but you don't see how they dream of having new experiences. You see someone with a stable job, but you don't see them questioning whether this choice was the right choice for them. We only see the best parts of somebody's life. So it's not fair to you that you're comparing someone's highest moments and achievements to your day-to-day -day life. And also, somebody else's success does not make you a failure. When someone in your life gets a promotion or gets married or they start traveling, that is not a direct reflection on you. Unless you are directly competing with that person in like an Iron Chef Food Network special kind of deal, it's completely unreasonable for you to be comparing yourself to other people. 
Don't let society or other people dictate what you need to do and what you need to accomplish by a certain age because there are an infinite amount of paths you can take in life and they are all equally valuable. And also, I don't think a lot of people talk about this enough, but if you have a mental illness, a physical illness, or you have some sort of trauma to deal with, it's much harder for you to feel like you're going the right pace in life. For example, a person with childhood trauma has a lot more homework to do because they have to address and heal from their past experiences in order to function. I know that a lot of people like to kind of scoff when it comes to healing. It's like, oh, it's just an excuse, but healing takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. It just zaps your energy right up that you don't really have a lot of energy left over to do anything else but survive. And also, if somebody has a mental or a physical illness they have to deal with, they're going to have a couple of setbacks because their illness might inhibit them from doing things or it might take longer for them to complete certain things. Life is already very confusing and already very difficult without trauma or illness, but those who have trauma or illness or maybe a combination of both have a lot of additional weight on their shoulders. Personally, I felt as if I was lagging behind in life because I have quite a bit of childhood trauma that I just uncovered and I also have a mental illness. I had a couple of very traumatic experiences not related to my childhood and I was just kind of figuring out how to proceed with this new information. And I felt like a failure because here I was struggling to get out of bed, struggling to do the bare minimum of what a human being should be able to do while my friends were getting married. They were living their lives, they were traveling, they were doing all this cool stuff and I couldn't get out of bed. But I changed how I thought and I realized that I was successful because I was healing. I was holding myself accountable and I was fighting every single day for my life. You know the saying, only compare yourself to the person you were yesterday? It was that. The person who I was in the past desperately wanted to end her life. But in the present, here I was fighting for the life I thought I wanted to end. And to me, that was success. But also, success is subjective. What we've been told success is, is you need to get married by 28, you need to have a family by 30, you need to be a CEO of a company by age 40, you need to be able to have lots of money and lots of power. And if that's your personal definition of success, that's fine, that's great. But that's not my definition of success. There are infinite definitions for what success entails. We put so much pressure on ourselves to achieve things that we've been told we need to achieve. But if the goals don't necessarily resonate with you or your happiness, then why bother? I don't give a flying fladoodle whether I am a CEO of a company or not. I don't give a fuck. The most important thing is to ask yourself, what do you think success is? It can be something big, like starting a business or maybe starting a family. But it can also be something simple, like learning how to draw, maybe trying a new food every month, going bowling every week, maybe getting a tattoo, adopting a dog. You don't have to do something huge to be successful. The most important thing is that you want to do it, not because society or other people have told you otherwise. My personal definition of success us, is to just stop giving a fuck about what other people think. I have been raised to be a people pleaser. I have been raised to constantly be thinking about what other people may think. And like, yes, that is considerate, but I've lost myself. So staying true to myself and being who I genuinely want to be is the most successful that I can get. I don't care about money. I don't care about status. I don't care about becoming a CEO of a company. Like, I don't no, I just want to be myself. Success is up to you. It's a very personal thing. It's not about what you've achieved. It's not about what you have. It's about how you define it. The only person who can define success and what it means to be successful is you. And if everything that I have said thus far is not resonating with you, let me just ask you one question. Do you think that this feeling is magically going to go away once you become successful? Maybe you buy a house, maybe you get a better job, maybe you get married. 
do you think that will change anything? And I'm gonna answer for you, absolutely fucking not. This feeling isn't tied into the materialistic things in your life. It's attached to you as a human being. So even when you buy the house, you get the money, these feelings aren't going to just magically evaporate. You're still gonna be the same person that you are right now, but just in a nicer house. And it's gonna hit you twice as hard when you get everything that you've wanted in life and you're still unhappy because you don't have an excuse to be unhappy anymore, right? Because once again, it is not about what you have in life. It is the mindset that matters. And I know that sounds really fucking cheesy, but it's true. And yes, you might be comfortable financially or personally in life, but that doesn't necessarily translate to happiness. Because if it did, every single rich person would be ridiculously fucking happy. And oftentimes they're not. A lot of the times they're actually fucking miserable. Strive for your goal and keep going. But remember that you are worthy and successful right now. Not just when you buy the house or you get the money or you get the power, or whatever you think success is. I know that a lot of us are struggling to find our place in this crazy world. And a lot of us are feeling like we're behind in life. But let me just tell you, you are doing completely fine. You can go at your own pace. So stop focusing on what other people are doing on their journeys and just focus on yourself. I struggle with this a lot too. I am desperately trying to apply this kind of thought process, this kind of mentality to my life and it is really fucking hard. But we all need to stop putting so much pressure on ourselves. Like life is already hard. Don't make it harder. You don't have to have everything figured out. And I'm pretty sure no human being on this planet has anything figured out. They're all just winging it at this point. So it's okay. Just take things one step at a time and stop to smell the roses. I know I'm using a lot of cliches and I'm using a lot of like weird cheesy quotes here, but it's fucking true. Smell the goddamn roses. That is all I have for this rant pep talk. I don't even know what the fuck this is, but this is all I got. So I'm going to go. I am rooting for each and every one of you. And I hope that you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.